joint on the last shit. Live in the hills, but it still get a spread. Started with a layer, but it still reinvest it. Fear how I fear, then you feel less a blessing. I just want the last I just want protection. I'm up and I'm down, but the sound like progression. Mama never plans if you race for perfection. Aye, Finger to the down, hold it down, we gon' get it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I got your watches coming in in November 11th, 2020, and the stock market keeps rotating out of growth. So not only have we been getting the election, or it seems like the market hasn't done too much, but this last two days, we had that big run-up, sold off, and we kind of stalled out a little bit today, but this whole growth, momentum, value, rotation, it is occurring and it's occurring at a fast pace and moving forward into the end of the year, this is going to be important. So there was that, there was a few other political events and things today in the market, but it didn't really have an effect. It's clear the market is looking at some other things. I even have some ideas with that. So Overall, it was a pretty non-eventful day, but you saw a mixed bag with this rotation again occurring. And we've seen this before this year. You're seeing the Dow Jones is up 260 points, but the S&P barely closed down. And then the NASDAQ was down 1.3. So a lot of different stocks all across the board were up and down. So it was crazy, but it is leaving us with a very exciting close to this week. So middle of the week, I hope you're ready. We have a lot to talk about. I got the plays. I have the keys. Everything else we're looking at tomorrow and what we did today, which wasn't much, but but let us not delay. You guys know what you need to do. Drop your thumbs up on the video. Make sure you're subscribed. And if you don't know, we are live Monday through Friday, 30 minutes for open. It's the first link in the description and it is pinned in the comments. We better see you there in the morning. It's free 99. It costs you nothing to join youtube.com slash the stock market. You can post the plays, see the plays, watch the watch list come to life. And yes, if you just want a safe space where you can watch political like events and news for stock information and it kind of gets political, but not political, but we have like breathing techniques and like push ups and it's great. Yeah, we're the place to be and the most important thing you need to do. Post your watches below. Let us know what you're looking at. Got any plays, comments, remixes, anything. Post them below and source that info. Shout out to chat, baby. So right off the bat, the rotation continues. And this is very, very important because today politics wasn't the driver. We saw a little bit of movements jumping back to the S&P. You started hearing McConnell talk about no stimulus for the end of the year. They were going back and forth. And then Mr. Biden and Mr. Harris came on. And then you heard stuff from Pompeo, apparently. Apparently, that was a Pompeo joke. There was a lot of different things, and you saw the market react, but it was pretty much more active in the beginning of the day, and this rotation was occurring. Again, we saw it all across the board with a lot of the stocks we've been looking at, but this was big. This is huge, and it's going to be important to look at because you're seeing the small caps in value. They're outpacing growth in tech, but they're doing it at a very fast pace, and now that's why tomorrow, the rest of the week, if you see this continue, that is a real clear cut signal where kind of money is positioning and that is going to really be important for indicators like UUP, TLT and then we have to watch globally but if this continues at this big pace it's going to be very very hard to ignore but so far this last two days has been some of the biggest in history again there's a lot of it first times in history the market is crazy I think it's exciting but we are at higher prices it kind of makes sense but you're watching a lot of the lower names again most of the names that did awful in 2020 are outpacing all of the best performers at a massive pace right now just in the last two days so if that does continue that is going to be important and that's where you got to really watch the market closely and what's going on here because it's not going to get reflected as much because it's picking and choosing which index is going some indexes get weighted heavily on more by other stocks and then on other days so it's going to be really really key to watch the rest of this week and even moving forward to the end of the year but tying this into the politics now I even think that value rotation may be saying more about the election than the overall S&P. So it's hard to see the politics reflected in the overall S&P because you're getting this rotation. I would really pay attention to individual names. Again, we're seeing tech names. You're seeing what's going on with Amazon. You're seeing what's even happening with some of the healthcare stocks. Again, too, you have to price in this virus stuff and what it means for everything. There's a lot of moving parts, but it seems like you're going to see movements happen in the individual names and industries before it gets felt. It's not like you're seeing everybody respond bond at once that would get felt in the whole entire index. So I think the specific industries are kind of hinting more towards what they're responding to versus the overall market. So it's going to be easy to miss some things, I think. So the rotation is going to be important for the next few days. That is really going to take the conversation, or at least if it continues, it's going to start pointing to not red flags, but it's going to be clear that the market is signaling something if that happens. But as far as everything else this week, you're not going to get too much economic data or too many events. We'll see how some of the political stuff could develop if there is anything unplanned for or anything comes out of nowhere that could affect it but 
Other than that, I'm going to watch Europe. I'd watch some of that Brexit stuff again. You could watch oil as well, too. But the only other thing I'm going to be watching out is if you do get a tech free fall. If it does continue from here and you see investors aligned to the value side instead, this is going to be key because this could kind of start a domino effect. So that's what I'm going to be watching for. Again, today was kind of limited in politics. I want to see how the rest plays out. But the money is telling a story through the industry. So we have to get focused and it's going to be exciting. But that is pretty much it. So let us get into the plays. So right off the bat, I have a few different plays. The first set of plays I'm going to be looking out for is watch out for the tech stocks. I want to see if they're going to stall or if it is going to be kind of a quicker bounce here because you kind of saw it in some names like Netflix. So I want to look at pretty much all of the FANG stocks, but you saw it a little bit here with them today. They actually ended going up. But you could kind of see on the 100 days, you know, they got clobbered a little bit. They haven't been going up again. You could see how the market has been performing. Kind of looks like the 100 day just they stalled out a little bit more. But then again, you pull out the one year on some of these tech names. They're definitely doing a lot better above their 2020 open than the whole S&P. You could see that right there. So some of them already stalled out today. And you could kind of see that with Netflix where it didn't drop as much and ended up coming back up. And this is what I want to see if tech doesn't free fall. I think you're going to see some of these names kind of slow down and stall out, and then it might give us a little bit of a bounce up there. And then once the market kind of aligns tech with value after this rotation, we will see what the next move is. Otherwise, I will watch if there is any quick bounces in there. So I think that could open the opportunity for some plays, even some of the more shorter term plays if the premium is right. But I'm going to really start placing a big focus on the FANG stocks. I mean, I'm probably going to be watching those premiums all throughout the day. I want to see how these play out. So that's the first set. The second set of plays I'm going to look at is healthcare stocks, Cigna, UNH. If you guys have any other healthcare stocks you guys are looking at, post them below. But I really like this one. You have the ACA ruling and all that stuff that Biden was talking about today. And that actually went through. So it's looking positive in that nature, at least for Biden, no changes. And you kind of saw how those stocks responded while he was talking. So I want to watch that. And then and, you know, adding that into the mix, you've seen the outperformance by some of these companies like UNH. And again, they're part of that value rotation in that sense, too. So watch out for those. I'm going to be looking at those. Then Uber and Lyft, we talked about them a lot. We were talking about the Lyft earnings and their mobility was really, really bad. Uh, their numbers, they beat on the revenue and they dropped. Again, they missed some expectations, like how many people were using the app. Again, that mobility section that we talked about, but their guidance saved them and they're still expecting to be profitable by 2021 or in 2021 end of 2020. I don't know, something around there, but market liked it. So watch them though. But we also saw how Uber has been doing very, very good too. And it's again, Uber is a growth name too, which is kind of interesting to see, but this could give it some juice. I still have those plays. I still like those. So I think it might be good to pick up an Uber sympathy or a Lyft if they're cheap. I'm going to be looking at those. But for the most part, with some of these big moves in the morning, a lot of these earnings continuation plays have actually been fairly rewarding. So I like those. And then finally, I brought this one up yesterday. Disney did not make a play on this one today. I could help with the contract pricing. Those January ones I had, those are up 33%. They were up like 80, 90% yesterday at the high. They dropped back below. So you could kind of think the contracts with a little less time are probably not going to be up as much. And the ones with a little bit more time will probably be the same or more. But I like the Disney play. We explained this thesis. A lot of people even asked about it. I think Disney is kind of a, a uniquely positioned winner here because it has both value and growth. It started rotating like a value stock. It's been popping up. Again, they have been struggling somewhat in 2020 but then they are shifting towards growth as we saw recently. So I really, really like that. I like the Disney. However, I have a small play now. We have like one share in the long term on the small YouTube account, but I'm waiting again. I want to see kind of what the market is directing. I want to see how does this rotation play out before really making, you know, bigger decisions with that. So I do want to zone in on scaling in and seeing if there is any smaller plays with that though but watch those plays if you guys have anything like even disney or anything again with this value rotation mix call it out put it in the watch list bring it to the chat tomorrow but post it here below too as well because there's a lot of unique names and it's really just going to be about spotting the winners and losers and again watching some of those broader factors to see how tech and the rest of the market respond but as far as everything else watch the fang names like i said going to be on those watch fubu stock or fubo we had this brought up by one of the beautiful chads they called this out this thing shot up i want to see that in the morning i think that one could be a little bit exciting i'll see if there's options rkt had their earnings they dropped a little bit did not drop enough for me to want to add to the long-term portfolio and speaking of which then there was beyond those contracts went up like 700 percent today 
You could have sold out in the morning. I kept holding on to them. I even wanted to add more to some. It ended up coming back up. Those contracts closed at a dollar still, so they still had a gain. But Beyond's a little bit all over the place. I still think this one might be in play, so I'm going to keep watching that one. Watch Uber and Lyft, like we said. Those are going to be important. Disney, then Walgreens. And again, these are some of the value stocks you're seeing rotate. Even Abbey falls into that list, which is it's just crazy to see. There's so many different companies. I mean, even watch Facebook on the tech side. They got clobbered a little bit more heavily. And if they start to break trend here, that wouldn't be too good. But you could really see how surprising it is with some of this rotation or even AT&T. Some of these stocks that were at the bottom, this is a huge rip. So I hope you guys understand how that could kind of cloud some of the movements you're seeing on the overall index. But watch all those. Watch Walgreens. I like it. Again, we have a bigger position in the long term. I'm still holding, not adding to it. I like it for many reasons. I think it could do a lot of things. But like I said on the watch list the other day, this thing is moving way, way bigger than expected. I called that out the other day. This is something to watch here because if that keeps playing out, uh, it's going to create a real big opportunity for some of those options. So I do want to start looking into that. But same thing even with Abivai as well, too. A lot of people brought that up. But watch them. Watch Disney, Netflix. There's Pfizer as well, too. A lot of the vaccine stocks started tripping out and acting a little bit weird here. So I want to see how this plays out and if they hold the level. But I, I think the volatility and the IV on those is just going to be way too high. But watch those again, even tie that into the healthcare place to look at. And then finally, banks, that's value. And this is big again, even JP Morgan. You'll even see how some of these performed throughout today. They opened up big, even if they sold off, they still closed green while a lot of other names closed red. But you have to realize these were big jumps that a lot of these value stocks are going off of. That's why even Walgreens was a really really surprising move because it's doing this back to back. And that's what I was saying, you guys, this rotation is, is just one of the fastest in history. And you're seeing it across the board on these names that are really moving. Th these are huge moves. So keep watch on all of them. How this plays out for the next few days is going to be really, really important. And then finally, putting this all together, even TLT, the dollar, this is going to be key because a lot of them is at a breaking point. You'll see TLT almost looks opposite of the dollar. Remember, it got a little bit of strength, but now it's holding out there. Same thing even with gold. They're kind of waiting here, but the UVX wise all everything's really really paused but you're getting big movement and this is again interesting now because you're having a real value shift change you're getting stocks dropping five eight ten percent and then stocks going up thirty percent but you're not getting the same reaction out of the market or some of these other indicators or it's making it a lot harder to be felt you know again a lot of bigger changes will happen. We'll see where the puck ends up. And that's like the dollar and everything. Probably a few weeks or months from now, we'll see how the market prices it in or where it really finds an equilibrium. So it's going to be exciting. But that is your watch list, ladies and gentlemen. Make sure you're healthy, ready to go. Make sure you post your watch list. Make sure we see you there in the morning. I need the armor on. I need the helmet shining. I need you to remember, it just might be a bad day. I need you to chill. You got to keep the peace. Is it worth it? Is it worth playing the news? The news in your life. But the goal loves you. I love you. And we'll see you in the morning. Let's go. Ha, 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 ha.